so we're now heading down the mountain, we're going to meet up with Michael and Sarah, and then we're gonna go probably get some breakfast and then explore some many places. We arrived at this abandoned factory. We couldn't find a good place to park, so we decided to just drive right in. They left it open, and there's no no trespassing, right? Yeah, it was a drive. So a common problem for urban explorers is trying to find a spot to hide the car. Our solution is hide the car inside the abandoned place. It's the new wave of urbex, yep, auto urbex. Right into you the don't urbex. get out of your car. <laughs> drive through urbex? Auto, yeah, drive through urbex. It's cold, Brian? It's cold. You look a little chilly. I mean, like, I could deal without it, but I don't want to be shivering while I'm recording. Oh yeah, this video's a little shaky. <laughs> That's why. Oh my god. Blaine, what'd you just do? We're in an abandoned place. I locked the keys inside the truck. How do you do this? I mean, I have AAA. But, but will they come here? I don't know. Truck problems. First we get stuck, now we lock the keys in the truck. This is a dramatic adventure. What it's happens not, next? It's not an adventure until no something goes wrong. Next up. Oh my god, it's a holiday. They're not open, are they? They have to be. Triple A? Yeah, people will have. So right now we're walking towards the front of the facility uh, because we're afraid if we stay where the car is, Triple A will not find us. They'll just pull up to the front and not see us and leave. We have to hope they want to come into a place like this because the, yeah. the truck is inside an abandoned warehouse. For so worst case scenario, we have to walk back to his hotel, get his rental car, and go to Walmart, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then break into our own car. And then break into my own truck. The guy was here. Who? Kool-Aid guy. Who's the Kool-Aid guy? <laughs> oh. oh yeah! <laughs> so he broke through. They had to patch it up, you know. Yeah. You can't be breaking through walls like that. So it's been about an hour since we locked the keys in the truck. No sign of AAA or a locksmith showing up yet. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going well. So the locksmith just got here. I was waiting out front, but I directed him back here to meet up with Michael and Blaine. So hopefully we can get the truck unlocked. <laughs> Five seconds. That's easy. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> If you take a picture of me, I'm gonna have to charge you for it. So yeah, we are back in business. <laughs> One hour later, and ex finally explore this place. Yeah. All right, keys are in, in my hand, in the pocket, lock the truck. We're out here. All right, we're good. Let's go explore this. <laughs> So we finally finished exploring the massive uh, piping and steel factory, and you know after a minor hiccup oh, yeah, at the beginning, that way, right? where the keys were locked in the truck, uh -huh. 
Uh, we eventually got to explore this whole place. Right now we're gonna head back to the hotel room and charge our batteries up. So, we're, we were checking out some abandoned places, but they're a bit too sketchy to do at night. So we decided to go around to a few places in the mountains, maybe downtown, and spin some steel wool. So maybe we'll cue a slideshow here or not, or slideshow. something. Slideshows are for... We gotta get some video for them. Yeah, but we need pictures. Okay, well, once we can get some video. Yeah. All right, we've been doing steel wool's pretty fun. Yeah. 